Recently, there has been a really exciting announcement, or re-announcement, I should say, in the mainstream media about the possible discovery of a new force in physics, the ramifications of which are particularly enormous if it turns out to be true. And I, for one, am growing quite excited as I read about it, even though the world of new discoveries in physics moves very, very slowly indeed. But if it is true, it means new physics. And new physics is always a challenge and always a threat. And the ancient punk rocker that still beats in my chest loves it when the conventional wisdom is challenged in a way like this. Science is replete with examples like this. The last one for physics arguably happened around about 100 years ago with the work of one Albert Einstein. Of course, you'd have to be super brave to say that this is anything like as important as his work, but some physicists are actually claiming that. Are we really in a similar situation now? Well, I don't know, of course, but it's exciting to play with the idea. If you want to understand a little bit more about what is going on here, then this is the video for you. Physicists are always banging on about forces, aren't they? We talk about pushes and pulls and twists. So, for example, you push this cat, he goes for a lovely ride. Contact forces like this are dead easy to describe, but hard to understand. Since there have been humans on planet Earth, we have been trying to work out how forces work. In the 1970s, the standard model of physics was born. This is an attempt to try and explain how all the matter that you see around us and that we probably take for granted is made up and how it works. The standard model has four forces in it. You'll be very familiar with at least two of these. And in order to get an idea of what's going on in this recent discovery, we're going to spend just a tiny minute or two looking at the four fundamental forces. First, let's look at gravity. This is the weakest of the four forces, though perhaps this guy wouldn't agree with that statement. Despite the pain he's feeling, you do actually have to have a huge mass in order to feel the effects of gravity. Though for stars and planets, gravity can, can become pretty awesomely massive and lead to some incredible effects. It really is a very, very small force in our everyday lives. The second force is the electromagnetic force. When you watch a thunderstorm, you're seeing the effects of this force in action on a huge scale. But it's also zipping around in our cells, powering the signals that fly along the neurons of our nervous system. It is a much stronger force than gravity and is surprisingly responsible for the contact forces that we experience moment by moment as we go through our lives. The strong force is one of the best named things in physics because it is, well, super strong. Without it, every nucleus would blow apart. And since you and me are made of many billions and billions of nucleuses, this is, of course, a really important thing. The last of the four forces is the weak force. If you did any sort of high level physics at school, you might just have come across this in passing. It's important in radioactivity. So there it is, four forces in a nutshell. But now it looks like something really exciting is coming into view. Evidence is mounting for a fifth force. Without going into much detail, physicists have zoomed muons through very strong magnetic fields, forcing them to collide with other particles and measuring how they wobble in and around the time of that collision. Back in 2021, when this practical was carried out, it was discovered that this wobble was more wobbly than it should have been. In other words, the theory from the standard model was not predicting the results that the experiment was getting. So what do you do when your work doesn't go how you would expect it to do? Just assume you've got it wrong? Well, in physics, you should do it again. So the experimenters ran the practical again and again. In this case, they collected about three times as much data, which meant that they had a significant decrease in the uncertainty in their results. Aha, a better method. And this means that something really new and interesting is going on because the results were still there. There are two strands of thought out there about these results. One seems to suggest that yes, there is a fifth force in nature, previously unseen and even more excitingly, unimagined. According to some physicists, this is the first time that behaviour that doesn't agree with the predictions of the standard model has been detected. And like I said, this is a huge deal. Something new is happening. Some years ago, a physicist who was cooling things down accidentally discovered superconductivity. Look what this has led to. Extremely powerful magnets that are in all our hospitals now, helping us to do medical images through people's bodies 
without cutting them. Just awesome. The history of science is full of stories like this. Could we be on the verge of this happening again? Something unexpected? So what is this new force like then? Well, the short answer is we don't know. But imagine what it might open up. Maybe it's going to shed light on the cosmological issues like dark matter or the inflation of the early universe. Perhaps there is new technology waiting in the wings to be thought of, something like lasers and atomic bombs, completely new areas that we hadn't even dreamed of, which might eventually hit our lives in ways we can't imagine. Now you've got to say, all oh, this is pretty cool, of course. Well, apart from the atomic bombs, they're not cool at all. The standard model is, of course, pretty complicated, and it turns out that it's hard to make predictions about muon wobble. Some researchers then, at the more theoretical end of things, have argued that perhaps with the right mathematical tweaking, the model can be made to predict the muon wobble that was observed after all. This is of course less exciting than there being new physics, but in a way it's still pretty amazing because it means really what we are saying is that the standard model has been able to predict something that no one had even thought of when the standard model was thought up. That in itself is pretty cool. Well done, standard model. Whatever the result turns out to be, this is the kind of thing that drew me into physics in the first place. It's exciting, it's unexplored and it's new. If there is a new force, then that means hopefully that we're going to have some new understanding about some of these difficult things that have left cosmologists particularly stumped over the last few decades. If it isn't a new force, of course, it means that some dark, unexplored corner of the standard model was enabled to shed light onto something that nobody had even thought existed. And personally, I think that's really cool. But you know what? I, for one, would really like some new physics. <laughs>